Hello my retro pals and welcome to today's video. So I'm going to be showing off some of my vinyls today because I want you guys to get jealous. Just kidding. No, I just wanted to show off my vinyls. I'll probably make two videos because I have quite a few. When I say quite a few, I mean like over 25. I don't know if that's a lot, but anyways, we'll see anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter. It's fine. But yeah. I'm going to show you some of my vinyls, you can get to know me a bit better, because I feel like I've been lying to you about my personality with my all, with all my, uh, more fact oriented videos, you know, it'll be fine, you'll, you'll get used to it. I won't be doing many of these sorts of videos, because I do like the more informative ones, and I like teaching people things about history. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Where do I begin? So, I thought maybe I would start with my Queen vinyl, because I do have a few of those. So yeah, we'll start. I have She Artifacts. This is probably my favourite one, because obvious reasons. I mean, look at, sorry about the light. Look at it. Um, yeah. I bought this recently. I bought this mm, start this year, I think? It was late last year. I haven't been out and buying vinyls in a while, but yeah. But, jazz. The cool thing about my jazz vinyl is actually, if I can get this out swiftly and quickly, this would be good. But the thing about my jazz vinyl is, it's limited edition for reasons. And if you follow the Queen page, you would know that they released it on pink vinyl. And that's the one that I got. So yeah, that's cool. Um, get jealous. Don't get jealous. But... Yeah, it also comes with a very scandalous poster, which I'm not going to show, but if you own the vinyl, you know what I'm talking about. A Day at the Races. Another good good album. I really like Queen's earlier stuff, because I do like the more rockier sort of music, but that's just my personal taste. That and Queen's later stuff, like The Miracle and The Kind of Magic. My favourite tracks on It's the Kind of Magic is Princes of the Universe. Like, Jesus. If you don't like that song, we can't be friends. That, and you know, like, friends will be friends. One Vision. I just, if you don't like this album, what are you doing? Obviously The Miracle, as I just said. Good album as well. And I also own Queen's Greatest Hits 1. And Queen Greatest Hits 2. But the cool thing about um, Greatest Hits 1 is that, like my jazz vinyl, it's special. And why is it special? Because this one is on red vinyl. Um, yeah. I really do have a nice collection of coloured vinyls, which you will see. I do, I really do have quite a few, which, once again, you could probably say that I've got a problem, but I don't call it hoarding. I call it collecting. Get it. The last queen one that I own is this. It's live. I haven't yet played this one for some unknown reason, but I will eventually. It's just I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But yes, I yeah. Cool cool beans. Mm -hmm. Next we have the monkeys. I love the monkeys a lot. A lot more than one should love the monkeys. I love them. I only have two vinyls, unfortunately, but that's because they're really hard to find. Like, I got this a while ago. My dad found it. And then I had to go to a very special place in the city of Melbourne to find this one. Which, once again, is special because if I can get it out swiftly, this one's on like kind of a marbled orange vinyl which looks really cool I might do a close-up of it now so you can kind of look at it but yeah it's one of my favorites it's got all the good hits on it once again I just really like you know heavier songs so I'm not your stepping stone and kind of stuff like that are my favorite songs that's the monkeys but I've only got two which is really sad but that's okay it's fine now this very important. I, once again, unfortunately I don't have many George Harrison vinyls, but I only have two, and arguably I have the best two. 
I have Cloud Nine, which is like one of my favourite albums. And same with All Things Must Pass, which is, again, one of my most favourite George Harrison albums. I'm really upset that I only have two, but like I said, George Harrison is also really hard to find vinyls of, which is upsetting. But I do plan on getting a bigger collection once, obviously, borders open and I'm allowed to go back into the city after Corona decides to, you know, calm down. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get more George Harrison vinyls, same with the monkeys, because I really do not have enough of those. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Freya, don't you like John Lennon? I love John Lennon. So, I have Double Fantasy, which is obviously his last album. I have the John Lennon collection. I have Shaved Fish, which is slowly falling apart, but I love all the songs on this album. So. And last but not least, I have Imagine. Yes, it's so cool, it's beautiful, I love it, and mine has the limited edition, well it's not limited edition, the poster comes with all of them, but my copy is from the 80s I think, which is really cool, because the poster is in mint condition, it's all in mint condition, which is great, so I find that this album is like one of my special ones. I don't play it often, but when I do, it's great. So... So lastly, <coughs> so lastly, I have Wings and Paul McCartney because I also like Wings. Surprise, surprise. I have obviously Burn on the Run because who doesn't have Burn on the Run? And I have Wings Over America, which is the live album. And I also have the poster, which I will show a picture of here because it's a cool poster and I currently have it up in my roof so yes I do feel like this video was kind of rushed just a little bit but I kind of forgot that I had to record to make a video this week so hopefully everyone enjoyed this I know it wasn't great but I might make another video where I actually talk more in depth about albums my favorite albums in particular songs that I like all that jazz. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I really hope that you stick around and watch more of our videos. Goodbye.